Imagine flying into Las Vegas and being able to take an underground Tesla through a tunnel from the airport directly to your hotel on the Strip, or downtown, or from your hotel to any sporting event or concert at Allegiant, T-Mobile Arena, or Thomas & Mack. This isn't something from some futuristic sci-fi movie. It's the Vegas Loop. And it's now starting to become a reality in Las Vegas, and Elon Musk, the boring company, is making it happen. In fact, the Vegas Loop is already up and running at the Las Vegas Convention Center. We're here at Central Station. We're about to ride the Vegas Loop. I've never been in a Tesla before, so this is about to be so cool. And off we go to South Station. It's so funny, you really do like feel like you're going faster than we are. Currently, the Vegas Loop at the Convention Center is a 2.2 mile length of tunnels that run between the four convention halls. The tunnels are 12 feet wide and 40 feet below ground. With up to 70 Teslas in the system cruising at 35 to 40 miles per hour, the system has the ability to move up to 4,400 people per hour. We're here at South Station. What would have been about a 10 minute walk only took us about a minute. It started as a concept because we at LBCVA wanted to figure out a way to get our attendees around our 200 acre campus uh, more conveniently. Unfortunately, as of right now, you do have to be a convention attendee to ride the loop, but that will not always be the case. The Boring Company plans to expand on the Vegas Loop to connect Las Vegas underground. So far, the plan includes about 54 miles of tunnels with 69 stops. The stops aren't just limited to hotels on the resort corridor. Other stops include Area 15, UNLV, Town Square, and the airport. Additionally, there are several downtown stops connecting the loop to not only Fremont Street, but the Arts District and other civic stops such as City Hall, the Medical District, and Symphony Park as well. When it's completed, it would create a system that is accessible to both locals and tourists. As a tourism destination, we need to be focused on improving mobility and finding additional ways to get people around because sometimes that congestion in our major resort corridor is unbearable. Of course, we all hate sitting in traffic. The idea for the loop is to take some cars off our busy roadways. To talk infrastructure, we brought in an expert, the City of Las Vegas' Executive Director of Infrastructure himself, Mike Jansen. And the benefit to the Vegas Loop for our infrastructure is every vehicle trip that it takes off of the surface street and puts it into the tunnel is going to help us on our roadway operations. And so the ability for our town to continue to grow is going to be better because we have less vehicles that will be on our surface streets. Jansen describes the system as an express ride share. Above ground, you'll have to stop at lights or you might get stuck in traffic. This is an expressway. Ultimately, it's another option for everyone. You can walk, you can bike, you can take transit, you can take Uber Lyft, you can take taxis, but you throw this in and you've got another option on getting around our busiest area of the resort corridor in downtown. The LVCVA gets asked often if the plan is for the Vegas Loop to replace the monorail, and the answer is... The Vegas Loop system is going to be a critical part of our transportation infrastructure. The Las Vegas monorail already is a critical part of our transportation infrastructure. And we don't view it as a this or that, and either or, we see, view it as a yes and. Um, we need all the mobility options we possibly can to improve mobility in Las Vegas. There have been a lot of questions about what happens when the tunnels get full and the time savings goes away. Well, the answer from the boring company is... We'll just build another tunnel next to it. Jansen compares it to adding another lane on the freeway. In the eyes of the boring company, they would love to see the system get so popular that they have to add another lane, albeit another tunnel lane. And so they're planning for that. They're looking at how they locate the tunnels in the road so that if they have to come back and add another one, that it's kind of prepped for that so that it's easier to do. All wildness about this project aside, what might be the most enticing thing about it is that it's entirely privately funded. The risks of the project are really on the boring company in terms of they're putting up the money to build it. That's very unique. You will not see that hardly anywhere else in the country where a transportation system is being privately proposed. By using multiple tunnel boring machines, multiple legs of the system can be worked on at once, getting it done more efficiently. In addition to the convention center, a stop at Resorts World is also open, and the boring company is currently drilling to the Encore and the Westgate with those stations expecting to open soon. They're making progress, and I think that's one of the most important things is, you know, it's one thing to propose a, a plan like this. It's a pretty, pretty amazing, huge plan, but it's another thing to actually show progress, and I will tell you, they're showing progress. How cool was that? 
Also too, I feel so like stylish getting out of this car like this. It's convenient, it's unique, it's fun. The Boring Company is creating it in a way that meets the demands and expectations of the Las Vegas visitor and provides transportation in an only Vegas way. If anyone should try anything out that's new and show that it works, I think it should be Las Vegas.